What's up everyone? I am Tim and I'm going back to drum basics. How's it going everyone? If you've been watching for a little while, you know I just got a drum set a couple weeks ago and I am trying to learn it. I am taking a little bit of steps at a time, taking recommendations and uh doing what I can to get a little bit better to hopefully eventually become an average drummer. If not smidgen more. <laughs> so, today I was recommended to check out some rudiment, ru ah, rudimental drumming. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. From what I understand, the rudimental drumming can be summed up into four categories. You got rolls, paradiddles, God, I love saying paradiddle. Flams and drags. Rolls, paradiddles, flams, and drags. All right, first thing we're gonna do, rolls. Not fast enough. Uh, the next one is a double stroke roll. I've done this on a previous video, but we're going to stick with the rudiments. This is one of the rudiments. That might not have been it. <laughs> Let's try it again. Uh, so this exercise is going to be paradiddles. What's really cool about this is the name. Paradiddle. <laughs> okay, so, just like the name says, we're going to be doing right, left, right, left, no. Paradiddle. But I'm going to try to do it to a metronome, and the metronome I got set is at 60 beats per minute. Beats per minute. So let's see. Mm. Sometimes the slow ones I feel like are, are the difficult ones. Perfect. Not perfect, sorry. <laughs> but for 60 beats per minute, that's not too bad. Let's do 
something called a double paradiddle. So it's going to be left, left, wait. And it's going to be like that. Excuse me. All right. So let's try it with the metronome, double paradiddle. It's a lot harder if it's supposed to be all in one, which it's not. So. Okay, let me see if I can do a paradiddle in a little... Alright, but I'm going to do it with the metronome. The double paradiddle, I'm going to have to figure out, and I'm going to have to work on that. Definitely. But... At least to keep it to a metronome, i got to figure out how that works. If you guys have any advice to help me in my journey and doing these rudiments, Please put them in the comments, send a, send a message. I'm working to get better, little by little, we'll get there. All right guys, we're gonna get paradiddles. Oh, no we didn't, we just did that. There we go. Hey guys, we're gonna get flams a try. Flams are little ghost notes before the, the actual hit, so just so. And you can alternate. So it'd be... And let's try them on a tempo. We'll do 60 BPM. Not too bad. 
I'll get better at it as I keep practicing it. But that, that was a plan. The next thing I'm going to be working on is a flam tap. So it's a, so it'd be like the goes to the left note, and then it's a right again. Wait, no, it's, yeah, yeah. Whatever the, the second note is, hits it again. Okay, could be better. Let's try it with a tempo. Very slow tempo, 60. Okay, let's try it with a little beat. We'll try to do it as a fill. Mm. I think it might be something like that. Let me see if I can, I can do it again, hold on. One thing I learned from this particular exercise is that the height of the sticks make a difference in this. So one's going to be very, very low, and one is getting dropped at the same time. But with this particular electric drum set, what I've noticed is that a light hit isn't necessarily a ghost hit, because it's still the same trigger. So I might have to research that and figure out exactly the best way to work with that. If you have this particular drum set or an electric drum set at home, let me know how it's worked for you, and I'd love to try to incorporate that uh, in my in my uh, in my growth. The fourth category is drag. Drag with one hand. I think that might be it. So let's try it with a tempo at 60 and see if we can come up with it. Two, three. Cool. 
Let's see if I can add it into like a fill. Okay, that was worth a shot. Uh, it will get better. I hope. <laughs> Okay, the second part, the second part of the, the second part of the drag that I'm going to be doing is uh, one I can barely pronounce, so I'm going to give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. It is called Single Ratamacue. Single Ratamacue, and we're gonna we're gonna own that. I pronounced it like that, and uh, until I hear otherwise, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. So we're gonna try the Single Ratamacue, which is. So it's a, it's, it's a drag, right, left, right, left, drag, drag, hit. Now, so let's do it really slow. I'll do it really slow to see if I can learn it. So it's drag, drag, right, left, right, left, drag, left, right, left, drag, left. Right, left. One hour later. Alright guys. So, uh, the Rattamacue is how it's actually pronounced. <laughs> Now, <laughs> a little better than all the, what I was just doing, so I'm going to try it on a, a tempo of 60 and see if I can do it. So it's I gave it a shot. I tried. I got close, sir. Then I did the beginning of the video. And that's all that matters, is to get one step closer every time I practice. So I will eventually get there. We'll have to revisit this exercise. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you learned something, or you got inspired to play the drums yourself, send me a comment, give it a like, share it, love, tell a friend. I honestly do appreciate all the love that you guys have been giving me so far. And it's getting me hyped to keep learning. So keep it coming, keep the love, and I'll see you next time.